Let's check my audio. Hello, hello, hello. Do you hear me nice and clear? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Do you hear me? Nice and clear. Isabel, do you hear me nice and clear? Yes. Yes. All yes, right. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Give me a minute while I get the information for you. Okay. Uh, let me see what is. Uh, Thank you so much for being here, people. It's nice to uh, have you. We have this beautiful day, which is Friday. Finally, we did it, right? Yes, we're done with the week. And um, thank you so much for being here in this uh, day. Instead of watching a movie, you're here hearing my horrible voice. Right? We're going to try to learn. English as much as possible so we can practice the content that we have in um lesson well section number four that's the name okay so thank you so much for being here just give me a minute while I um, put up the information so we can start with this one okay if you have a question before we begin let me know don't forget that in the platform you have some exercises that you gotta do, that you gotta work on, yes, and have them ready. Okay, have them ready. We're working with section number four right now, so it looks like you need to be like working with section number four in part of section number five. Okay, that's 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 the main, uh, let's say, uh, activities that we have in in section number four. Yes, don't 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 miss that. Okay, we will continue working with um this is called that is a simple pass. I mean now that is the one we are working on. And um as a suggestion, as a suggestion, try to uh, check extra information on YouTube when you have the chance to do it. So you good evening. Good evening and welcome, Christian. Uh so so you can have reinforce or practice a little bit more. It's simple past tense, right? We're gonna work today with statements with a regular, regular. I'm sorry, irregular verbs. Oops. We're gonna work with irregular verbs in here. Okay, so um, that is the one we're gonna work in here. Thank you so much, people. And let's let's get let's get to work. Uh, this is section number number four. Let's begin. We're gonna have this video. I want you to look at this video, listen. I will play it two times so you can uh, practice. My recommendation, because sometimes I see you on the camera, you listen and repeat the statements. Listen and repeat the statements at home. Remember, the more you practice, that's better for you so you can articulate articulate the words, yeah? So again, my recommendation, um, repeat, repeat the sentence, okay? And also on uh, the, the, the verse that you see. And, and watch. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn to form positive and negative statements using irregular verbs. Let's get started by listening and practicing these statements in the past using irregular verbs. Simple past statements, irregular verbs. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. In English, we have two types of verbs. In our last class, we learned how to use regular verbs and learned the simple rule of adding ed to change those verbs to the past tense. We also have irregular verbs, which are more complicated because there really isn't a particular rule to follow. You will need to learn them and memorize them. To form positive statements in the past using 
irregular verbs. We will follow the same formula as with formal positive statements with regular verbs. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. On this chart, you can see a few examples. If you notice, the positive statements have the verbs in the past tense. And the negative statements have the verbs in the present tense. For example, the past of the verb do is did, get up, the past is got up, go, the past is went, meet, the past is met, come, the past is came, have, the past is had. Let's analyze the first example. I did my homework. First we add the subject I, then we include the verb in the past tense, did, finally we add a complement, homework. To form negative statements, we will follow this formula. Subject plus didn't, the auxiliary didn't, plus verb in the present, plus complement. I didn't do laundry. First, we add the subject I. Then, we add the auxiliary verb to form negative statements in the past. Didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present, do. Finally, we add the complement, laundry. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to make positive and negative statements using these irregular verbs. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Let's have a little bit of practice. Okay. Here we have the irregular verbs. Okay, Maricela, I hope you get better soon. So here we have the irregular verbs. What that means irregular? Irregular means that it doesn't follow our rule. That means that. This is the verb, and this is the past tense of the verb. Yeah? So uh, that's why this thing is, is on how. See? Some verbs are irregular, not regular. Okay, so the past simple is not ed. So this one's no ed, right? No ed in these verbs, you see? No ed. Okay, so they just are the way they are. And, and that's, that's why it's difficult. Here, if you see in this like picture, we have the common one. Begin, break, bring, build, buy, catch, come, do, drink, eat, fall, find, fly, get, get, give, go, have, hear, know, live, lose, make, meet, pay, put, read, ring, say, see, tell, eat, sleep, speak, then, say, tell, think, win, write. So this is the present right so i can say oh i um drink soda every day or i drink water every day okay uh, i can say rosa plays tennis on weekend i can say um i don't know milagro uh speaks english every day right so uh, blanca has a sister there. Yeah, so we can say that in present, but here, here we have the past. So that means 
El pastor, right? Pasado. Here, when we use began, es pasado. Ya, yeah? ya no. Aquí, present. Yes, ahorita, en el momento real. But past is this one. Okay? So, yesterday, last week, last month, right? This is the way you use this one. Okay? That's what I want you to get, right? This present today. Present today. Yes? I play Good evening, Melanie. teacher. Good evening, Melanie. Nice to have you. And this, <laughs> I'm sorry. This... Oh, that's okay. No problem. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> and here, if you see, we have the past. So that means the past is the past. So we don't have it anymore. Yes? So one more time. Begin, began. I repeat, please at home. Begin, began. Be okay. Begin. Again, turn off turn off your mic. Just go the microphone of I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. Okay. Mm. Very good. So begin, began. And begin, began. Break. Break. Rock. Brook. Brain. Brain. Broad. Broad. Okay. Uh, build. 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 Give me a minute. Okay. Um, um, buy, bought, buy, bought, catch, caught, catch, caught, come, came, come, came, do, did, do, did. Drink, drunk, drink, drunk, eat, 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 fall, fell, fall, fell, find, found, find, found, fly, flew, fly, flew, forget, forgot, forget, for God, get God, get God, give, gave, give, gave, go, went, go, went, have, had, have, had, hear, heard, hear, heard, no, 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 no. Leave. Left. Leave. Left. Lose. Lost. Lose. Lost. Make. Made. Make. Made. Meet. Met. Meet. Met. Pay. Paid. Pay. Paid. Put. 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 Read, 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 read. Ring, rang, ring, rang. Say, said, say, said. See, so, see, so. Sell, sold, sell, sold. It, that, it. Sad. Sleep. Slept. Sleep. Slept. Speak. Spoke. Speak. Spoke. Then. Stood. Then. Stood. Take. Took. Take. Took. Sell. Sold. Sell. Sold. Think. Thought. Think. Thought. Win, one, win, one, right, 
rod, right? Rod. So if you notice, we don't follow como lo yesterday, ¿vale? ¿Se acuerdan? Yesterday teníamos the and it al final de la pronunciación, right? And in here, no, right? No rule like that. Entonces, llevan su propia pronunciación. So that's why it's difficult, this one, because we don't follow that one. Yes? En la de ayer sí puedo minimizar, right? Solo puedo decir suavecito, right? Y a veces ni se escucha bien la pronunciación. Solo me voy con el verbo. Pero aquí sí no puedo mentir con la pronunciación. Tengo que decirla cabalito, right? Begin, I'm sorry, begin, began. Began is the past, right? Brought, brought, built, bought, cut, came, did, drank, ate. So it's very specific, the pronunciation, all right? So that's why these ones are difficult with, with that. With the spelling, es la letra, por como se escribe, right? Y la pronunciation, a little bit at this, right? Um, we're going to have some examples. Blanca, read the examples, please. Thank you. Uh, the, the, the letter. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Example, the examples, please. Thank you. This one, this one. I usually. Here, here. Here, Blanca. Here. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Perfect. perfect. Uh -huh. For, I usually get get up early, but this morning I got I got up at ten nine o'clock. We did a lot of work yesterday. Carolyn went to the cinema three times last week. Ty come into the room took off his squat and sat down. Y James, oh, sí, estuvo. Yeah, that was James. That was James. Very good. Yeah, very good. Okay. If you notice, right, we have the verbs got, did, went, came, took, and sat. Yeah? So that means past then. And also, you have the time expressions, for example, uh, yesterday, Last week, right? So you can, oh, that's but, but if you see, if you see the verb like this, significa past, right? When you hear the verb, I got up at night, that means past tense. When you hear the verb, I did my chores or I did my job, or I did my homework, that means past, yes, right? So that is the key here. Any question about this? Any question about it? No questions? No questions about this? Every, everything clear? Yes, one more time. Remember, like this is difficult because the spelling it's difficult. For example, mire, aquí tenemos by. By, mire que fácil. Three letters, right? By. Y se escucha como que, right? Que decimos, excuse me. Excuse me. I need to charge my, um, the body of my computer. Okay, so, one more time. If you see here, we have by. So three letters, y la pronunciation is like, suena como es, algo así, right? Bye. Yes? Right? So it's easy, right? It's facile, let's say, right? It's like facile. But mire aquí, en paz. But. But. Mire cuántas letters. You see? Solo la B nos queda, right? And then, it's different. Yeah? So that's why it's difficult, this one, because that. Also, think is another one. Think, think, mire, thought, thought. So somehow, somehow it's, it's complicated because the spelling changes, right? Yeah, it gets bigger and, and it's, sometimes it's hard to pronounce. So, so just be careful, be careful with that. 
my recommendation, okay, my recommendation, my suggestion, is like, agarre cinco verbs y trate de aprendérselos cada día five verbs. O póngase tres, right? Diga, no, voy a aprender three. Three verbs, right? Yes. Y los anda diciendo ahí, right? Y si es posible, haga oraciones, right? Pequeña. Yes. I broke the window yesterday. Yes. I bought a purse yesterday. I did my chores yesterday. Right? So you practice and practice and practice. Because these ones, believe me, this, this, esto que estamos viendo right now, que es el simple pass, no es fácil. It, es uno de los más difícil, de los difficult ones. Yes? So, entre más practice, okay, that's good for you. Yes? Because este poquito de tiempo que tenemos para esto no es suficiente, okay? And I'm sorry for that. So, that's why I recommend practice every day at home. Yes? Right? So, that, that will help you, okay? Any question about this? No? Okay. Let's move on. Let me see what time is it. Okay, we're going to work with this one. Yes? We have the verb in present. Here we have the past. Here we have the present. And here we have the past. For example, I have by. The past tense of by is bought. What about come? What is the past tense of come? When? Came. 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 Okay, can you spell it, please? Thank you. Can. Can. Spell it, please. D A M. E. Can. Came. Very good. Came. Very good. Yes. What about here? We have the past tense of yes. did. Do. Do. Very do. good. Do. Do. Wonderful. Very good. Wonderful. Then we have eat. At eight, eight, like the number, like the number eight, like the number three. Right. Yeah. Go felt. Fall. 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 Mm. -E -E very good. Le then here we have go. What is the past tense? When. 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 W E N T. Beautiful. That is correct. Have. 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 H. Have. Have. H. A. B. E. 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 Very good. Then we have read. What is the spelling? Read. 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 R E D. A R E D. A D A A D. D. No. D. Es R. Ah, sí, también, pero D. Es R E E D. R E D. Sí. ¿Qué es eso? Sí, sí. Yes. Yes. Okay, that, la dos son <laughs> no, no, Christian, that is the pronunciation, red. Red. That's red. the pronunciation. Oh. Okay. Yes, but the in spelling. present is read and past is red. Pronunciation. Okay. It's the same, it's the same spelling, this one, right? Yes, but pronunciation is red. 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 And past is red. The pronunciation. Red. The pronunciation is red. Oh, but the spelling is red. The spelling is the same. Okay. Mm. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Then we have right. What is next? Right. 
Okay, can you spell it? R O A A No, E A is E, very good. E, thank you. E. Then we have so. So here. E. 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 Spell it, please. S E A. S E E. Very good. And what about it? Cat. 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 Please spell it. S A A T. Wonderful. Yes. Very good. Now, please do me a favor. Um, let me check the chat. I'm so give me a minute just to be sure. I don't want to get in troubles. Uh, okay. Ana Cristina Osorio. Ana Cristina Osorio. Hello. Good evening. Ana Cristina, do you hear me? Ana Cristina? No. Alicia. Hello, Alicia. Good evening. Hello, Alicia. Hello. Thank you. Dígame okay. este cuadro, lo que está en este cuadro, please. Thank you. In the present. Present and past. Uh, go, went, have, had, read, read, ride, wrote, see, saw, sit, and sat. Thank you. And here, please. I'm sorry. This one. Um, buy, both, come, came, do, did, eat, ate, fall, built, meet, and met. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. Great job. Okay. Thank you. That's what? That's right. Okay. I will take the attendance right now. When you hear your name, please say present or I'm here. Um, Arely Garcia. Arely Garcia. Present, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Nice to have you. Alicia Arieta. Present, um, teacher. Thank you, Alicia. Um, Cristina Osorio. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ana Garcia Martinez. Ana Garcia Martinez. No. Oh, Jesus. Give me a minute. Okay. Um, Elizabeth Cruz. Elizabeth Cruz. Okay. Elizabeth Cruz. Present, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Elizabeth Cruz. Good evening. Good evening. Um, Blanca Esmeralda Mendoza. Present, teacher. Thank Present. you so much. Christian Romero. Present, teacher. Thank you and welcome. Nice to have you. Maricela, I think you wrote it in the chat, right, Maricela? Present teacher, sí. Thank Gracias. you so much. Nice to have you. Um, teacher, teacher. Uh -huh. Ajá, Ana García. No sé si me lo... Tengo el micrófono. Yes, ya le tomé la asistencia, Ana García. Very good, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, eh, Milagro Granados. Present teacher. Thank you, Milagro. Nice to have you. One more time. Um, Isabel Suniga. Present teacher. Thank you so much. You better now, right? Sounds better, I guess. Yeah. Um, Jose Arias. Jose Arias. Ernesto Jose. No. Okay, Fatima Hernandez. Fatima. Present teacher. Thank you, Fatima. Good evening. Jessica Romero. Present teacher. Thank you, Jessica. Um, Melanie Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you, Melanie. Good evening. Uh, Juan Carlos Lopez Linares. Present. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Welcome. Uh, Julio Cesar Tobar. Okay. What about Miguel Rodriguez Sanchez? Present. Thank you, Miguel. Nice to have you. Nubia. 
Hello, Nuria. Present okay. teacher. Thank you. Good evening. Uh, Rosa, Good evening. Present teacher. Thank you, Rosa. Nice to have you. Uh, Eunice Ruiz Morales. Present teacher. Thank you. Welcome. Um, the Misela Flores Melendez, Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Nice to have you. Good evening. And Yolanda Jamilet Andrade. Yes. Thank you so much yes. for being here. Okay. Uh, let's continue with the content that we have. Um, here, just give us a minute. Okay. My gosh. Okay. Oh, that's a lot. Sorry. Okay, we're gonna use these verbs here. Look at the, the, the screen, right? Complete the sentence, use the verbs. Nubia, please read read these verbs. Nubia, please. Read the verbs. Tell me. Clean. Se me había apagado, teacher. Dígame otra vez, porfa. Okay, okay. <laughs> read. Read the verbs, please. Say the verbs. Clean. Oh. Sí. Clean. I clean. Die. Die. Die and enjoy. Enjoy. Finish. Enjoy. Finish. Finish. Yes. Happy. Happen. Open. 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 Rain. 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 Star. Star. Say. Say. One. One. Very good. Okay. Uh, these verbs are in past, Nubia, or present? Um. Present or past? Present. Yeah. Present. 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 Okay. Very good. Very good. And and this verb, Nubia, this verb, clean, is in present or in past? Uh, past. Very good. Okay. So, estos present verbs los vamos a poner here, but... In past tense, okay? Uh, and yes. we need to work with the context, okay? Thank you so much, Nubia. Very good. So, let's begin with number two. It was hot. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. Uh, it was hot in the room. So, I, the wind. Mm -hmm. Auto. Oh, okay. very good. Can you spell it, please, Aunt Jennifer? Thank you. O P E N. Oh, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. Mm -hmm. What do I need? E D. Oh, very good. Wonderful. Okay. So, mire. Right. It was hard in the room, so I opened the window. The window. Very good. Yes. There we go. Number three. The film was very long. It star. Okay. That, excuse me. That is incorrect. Partially incorrect. What what do I need, Jennifer? Mm -hmm. It started, mm -hmm. right? It started. It started, it started. at 15 and finished. Oh, yeah. I know. Finish. Finish. What else do I need? ED. ED, right? ED. Yes. Finish. At 10 o'clock. Number four. When I was a child, I to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. One. One. Okay, when? what is the pronunciation? One. 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 Number five, the accident. The accident. So, if you notice, we have this one now. 
started, yes, we finish. Open is done. Finish also, okay? So we just have done. I enjoy happen, rain, and stay. Happened. Oh, very good. I love pronunciation as well. Happen. Very good. Okay. okay. Here, I happen. Very good. It's a nice day today, but yesterday it... It's a nice day. Day today, but just... Rain. It's right. It's right. Enjoy. Rain. Yes, it's going to be rain. Okay. What is what do I need with rain at the end? Rain. 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 Repeat, Melanie. Rain. Rain. Yes, rain. Very good. Rain. Okay. Solo al verbo original se pronuncia rain y solo le va a agregar el the rain. Rain. Okay. Siempre pronuncienlo de la forma que siempre lo han pronunciado cuando son regulars y luego le agregan el sonidito, ¿vale? Mínimo. Or, ¿Ok? Very good. What about the number seven? What do we have in number seven? We stay that day. We stay day. Oh, okay. oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Day. Day. Oh my gosh. Stay. 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 We stay our holiday last week. We, we oh, I'm sorry, this is incorrect. This is incorrect, I'm sorry. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, we need another one. We enjoyed. Enjoy. Exactly right. So we enjoyed. Enjoy. We enjoyed our holiday last week, last year. We stay. Now is a stay, right? Stay. 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 At a very nice place. And then we have the last one is Die. 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 Okay, very good. Question for you. Are these regular or irregular verbs? Regular. Yeah. Okay, why regular verbs? Because we we follow rules. Yes, right. At the end, at the end we have E D. Mm -hmm. Right? So mire. E D, E D, E D, E D, E D. All of them got that. E D and E. Okay, so that's why we have regular verbs because of the rules. Now let's continue with the next ones. Okay. So you see the verb here? Okay. Do you see these verbs here? Okay. Juan Carlos, please read read these verbs, Juan Carlos. These ones, please. Present. Yes, please. Fly, get, have, live, drive, get, part, work, check, have, wait, depart, arrive, take. Thank you, Juan. Are these regular or irregular verbs? Irregular. Thank you, Rosa. We have irregular verbs, right? So what are we going to do? We are going to use the past tense of the verbs to communicate Lisa's journey to Madrid. Yes? For example, last Tuesday, Lisa flew from London to Madrid. What is the next verb? What is the next verb in number two? Anybody? Drive. No, I'm sorry. Mm, get. 
arrive. Oh, get. get is the present, but what is the past tense? Uh, Pick up. Go. Arrive it. <laughs> oh, okay, God. What is the past tense of, of uh, how do you spell God? When? Uh, no, how do you spell it? How do you spell it? God. Letter G. When? Uh, is arrive it or no? In, no. Porque tendría ahí esa. Es irregular. Oh, yes. oh, oh, okay, okay, very good. So, Christian, just a quick thing. The verbs that we have here are the ones that we are going to be skipping. Okay? So, don't don't get confused, okay? Have that one. It, 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 right? You see? For example, for example, in the first examples, blue, fly, dot, get. get. So the next one is going to be this have. one. Right? Have. A minute, please. Okay, thank you. Had. Can you spell it, please? H. Had. A. A. D. Yes, right. Had. What about the number four? Mm -hmm. Left. Left. Oh, very good. Left. Can you spell it, please? Thank you. Oh. L E F G. That's wonderful. Left. Okay, so I will like at six thirty. She left con and I put draw. Check. A draw. draw. Very good. How do you spell draw? Draw. D R. Oh. Okay. Yes, what is next? B E. Yes, wonderful draw. Okay. To the airport when she go. Got. Got. Very good. D O T. Beautiful, that is correct. There she then she she part. Okay, so, thank you. How do you spell part? P A R Q. Q like this one? No. Okay. K. 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 <laughs> what is this? What is next? Ah. Uh, E D. E D. Very good. Regular or irregular verb. Irregular verb. Regular. 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 Very good. Thank you. So the car. And then what is next? Number eight. The car. Green. Right. Walks. Okay. Can you spell walk, please? W. w. Jolio A, 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 Regular or irregular? Regular. Regular. Regular, right. Walk to the airport building and... Check. Checked. Okay. Regular or irregular? Uh, regular. Okay. Can you spell it, please? Thank you. C H E C K. I never will be like K. 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 Okay. That is correct. Check <laughs> in. Then she. Regular or irregular? Why? She. Regular or irregular? Uh, irregular? Have. Irregular, thank you. Spell it, please. H. Yes. A. Yeah. D. Thank you so much. Very good. And I had breakfast at a cafe. Mm -hmm. And regular or irregular? Is 
regular. Regular. Yes, regular. Very good. So, spell it, please. W A I T. Yes. E. E D. Yes, wait is very good. Wait is for her fly. The plane. Regular or irregular? Regular. 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 Very good. So what is the spelling? What is the spelling? A. A. What is the spelling? D. D. E. Departed, departed, very good. On time and regular or irregular? Irregular. Okay, what is the spelling? A. A. Sure. Regular or irregular? Regular. Oh, that's regular. Very good. A. A. R. 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 I. B. E. I. D. E. 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 Arrived. Very good. Arrived. Two hours later. Finally, she. Regular or irregular? Regular. Oh, I'm sorry. Right. 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 Yes. What is the context? Is that it? All right. Okay. Okay, very good. Thank you. So, this is the way we have it, right? So, I will read it. So, I need you to listen because then I will ask you to participate. Okay. So, I need you to listen. Okay. So, just Okay, um, last, okay, last Tuesday, Lisa flew from London to Madrid. She got up at six o'clock in the morning and had a cup of coffee. At 6.30, she left on and drove to the airport. When she got there, she parked the car and walked to the airport building and checked in. Then she had breakfast at a cafe and waited for her flight. The plane departed on time and arrived in Madrid two hours later. Finally, she took a taxi from the airport to her hotel in the center of Madrid. Yes? So, if you notice here in the pictures, right? The first one is Godot. At six. Then she draw to the airport. Then, yes, she checked. Then, then, right, look at this one. She had breakfast. Then the airplane departed. And at the end, she took a taxi to Madrid. Okay? So question for, let me see, let me see. Uh, okay, okay, give me a minute. Milagro, what is the verb in past that we have for this picture? What is the past tense of this verb here? Yeah. What is the past tense that we have here in this? Flight. Flight. No, I'm sorry. Look at the image. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Rosa, thank you. Six o'clock, teacher. No, I'm sorry. I need the verb. The verb. Okay. Can, can you grow? Grow up. 
Okay, very good. So the verb that we have here is got up. Got up. Okay, because it's in past. Okay, so she got up at six o'clock. What about the picture number two? What is the verb in picture number two? In past. Jobs. Jobs. Christian. Jobs. We have jobs. Very good. What about picture number three? What is the verb? Check. Check. Very good. Check. Oh my gosh. Check. Very good. Remember, the verb goes in past. What about the picture number four? Mm -hmm. Had. Had. Very good. So we have had. Very good. What about the picture number five? Playing. Departed. Departed. Very good. Departed. Very good. And what about the picture number six? Took. Took, right? Took a taxi. Very good. Okay? Very good. This is the way we work. As you may see, it's, it's not easy, right? I know it's not easy, but with practice, you can do it, okay? Ruiz Morales, Signa Ruiz Morales. Hello, Signa. Good evening. Hello. Ayúdeme a leer esto, please. Thank you. El que, teacher, perdón. No. Oh, this, everything, everything, this one. Here. Okay. Perfect. Last Thursday, Lisa, flew from London to Madrid. She got up at six o'clock in the morning and had a cup of coffee at six <laughs> She left home and drove to the airport. When she got there, she parked the car, walked to the airport building and checked in the she had the car very fast at uh, se pronuncia café or coffee? Oh, café. Café, café. And waited for her flight to plan in the airport on time and arrived in Madrid two hours later. Finally, she took a taxi from the airport to the to her hotel in the center of Madrid. Thank you so much, Sina. You have a few mistakes with pronunciation con los regular verbs. Okay. 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 So I will okay. I will have another one so you can listen the way this person pronounced the verbs. Okay. So you can say, oh, this way, right? Very good. Miguel Alejandro, thank you. Do the same. Present. Oh, no, Miguel, read. Read this thing, please. I'm sorry. Read this. Okay. Last Tuesday, Lisa flew from London to Madrid. She got up at 6 o'clock in the morning and had a cup of coffee at 6.30, she left home and drove to the airport. When she got there, she parked the car, walked to the airport building and checked in. Then she had breakfast at a cafe and waited for her flight. The plane departed on time and arrived in Madrid two hours later. Finally, she took a taxi from the airport to her hotel in the center of Madrid. Thank you so much. Five mistakes and pronunciation, Miguel. The first one is Tuesday, last Tuesday. Very good. Tuesday. Then cup, cup of coffee, cup of coffee. Very good. Airport, airport here. Then walk, walk, okay. Well, um, can I have a little bit of a What, uh, departed, departed, 
checked, checked. We have also arrived, 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 okay? So, cuando sean regulars, cuando sean regulars que lleven ED al final, mire, si sí le recomiendo, dígalos normal, como que lo estoy diciendo en present, y luego le agrega el sonidito. ¿No? En ED. Okay, for example, departed, waited. Okay, here, parked, walked, checked, arrived, the, arrived. Yes, so you notice at the end is, is quite minimal. Thank you so much. Uh, Isabel, please do the same. Do the same, read this thing. Thank you. Isabel, excuse me, I'm sorry, your mic is off, okay? Okay. Last Tuesday, Lisa flew from London to Madrid. She got up at six o'clock in the morning and had a cup of, co a cup of coffee. At 6.30, she left home and drove to the airport. When she got there, she parked the car, walked the walk to the airport building and checked in. Then she had a breakfast at a cafe and waited for her flight. The plane departed on time and arrived in Madrid two hours later. Finally, she took a taxi from the airport to her hotel in the center of Madrid. Thank you so much. No mistakes, okay? Everything was perfect. Wonderful. There is another thing that I would like to mention that Isabel did, and I did it as well, que es este linking sound. Also, um, you can do it. I think Miguel also did it, right? Check D. Cuando tenemos una consonant like D, okay, y tenemos una vowel después, podemos a veces ponerlas together, right? So we can say, check D. Check D. Yeah? Con el mismo sonido de la D, right? We end it and we put it together. So we have the rhythm of the English sound, right? So I can say, oh, uh, uh, walked to the airport building and checked in. Yeah? Okay, Blanca, please, Blanca, do the same, please. Okay. Last Thursday, Lisa. Flew from London of Madrid. She got up at six o'clock in the morning and had a cup of coffee at six thirty. She left on and drove to the airport. When she got there, she parked the car, walked to the airport building, and she kept checking the she had a breakfast, had a cup, and waited for his flight. They planned the part, the part on time arrived in Madrid two hours later. Finally, she took a taxi from the airport to her hotel in the center of Madrid. Thank you so much. Okay, Blanca, very good. Okay, you have a few mistakes. Los mistakes que tienes son en estos verbs. Park, walk, and arrive. Arrived. Arrived. Park, walk, and arrived. Okay, porque me los está leyendo en español. Okay, me los está leyendo en español. Yes, entonces, es lo que le digo. Uh, por ejemplo, digo el verbo así normal. Yes. Dígalo, please. Park. 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 Ahora le voy a agregar ED ¿Sí? y siempre dígalo park, pero agrégale al final. Parking. No, no. Solo diga park y park. luego. Park. 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 Exacto. Ok. Diga park. siempre park y luego al final. Sí. Rosa. Park. 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 Otra vez, Rosa. Park. Very good. Solo agregamos al final. Park. Otra vez. Park. Park. 
Park. Park. Park. Park. Park. Park. Park. Okay, that's better. Sí. Así. Sí. Yeah. Así. Siempre lo va a pronunciar como que está en, en present, pero le va a agregar el sonidito vaya al final. Okay. Park. Park. En I. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. This is the way we practice oh. verbs. And again, try to practice at home if you have the chance. Because again, this is not easy, right? This is difficult, I know. But with practice, little by little, you can learn this thing. Thank you so much, people. Good thank night. Thank you, teacher. Good we will see you Happy tomorrow. Happy weekend, teacher. Oh, thank Good you. Night. Good night. Good night. Good bye -bye. Bye. You, teacher. Thank you. Bye, bye teacher. Bye-bye. Good night. Thank you so much.